Welcome back on this Friday. We have talked about the mania around the Stanley Cups here on QC Morning. The popularity leading to or leading rather to even a bigger conversation for parents. One woman recently went viral for this particular video we want to show you here. In this video, she talks about her daughter being bullied at school because all of her friends had a Stanley Cup and she had a different cup that was a lot cheaper. The video has more than 3.5 million views. While all the craziness around the Stanley may be new, the link between what's trendy and bullying really is nothing new, right? Kind of as old as time. Adina Godet is a licensed clinical social worker with Thrives Works in Charlotte, and she is helping us sort through all of this. How are you, Adina? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. This is such a good conversation. I do want to start with the video. I mean, what okay, was your yes. reaction to, to hearing that, Mom? Okay, so when I first saw the video, I thought it was very interesting because nothing new is under the sun. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, the Stanley Cup right now, but for us, it might have been sneakers or bags or you know just anything materialistic that people put value to mm -hmm. you know and so that that was my first initial thought like, wow this is still going on I don't think bullying will ever really 100% cease you know so since it won't let's talk about how we process all of this yes. right um, the first thing is you know how these trends do have an effect on our mm -hmm. children oh, oh it breeds so much insecurity you know um, by saying hey you're not good enough or you're not worthy they grow up to be teenagers and adults who feel not worthy if they don't have material things, if they don't have the best cars, if they don't have the best house, you know, mm -hmm. they live in an apartment. And you know, it's a, it's a lot to kind of unlearn what was taught to you, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah, it definitely breeds insecurities. So then the biggest question is, how do we as parents, because mm -hmm. everything is so expensive and maybe yes. you want you want to give your kid the move. <laughs> right. There's no doubt about that. So how do you decide? I mean, well, I don't know mm -hmm. if I really can afford this. Should mm -hmm. we engage in this trend or not? Let me say this, I think it starts with the mindset, right? Um, it starts with the kids who do have, you know, enough and who can afford these expensive things, right? Um, I think it starts at home with the parents. I definitely think, I'm gonna use my example. When I was younger, my um, parents had me young, so they weren't always, you know, financially stable at the time. But when we did, they made sure to keep me mindful. They kept teaching me mindfulness and kindness and also considerateness and being thoughtful of others. They didn't, they had the same standard for me when it came to humility, you know? Mm -hmm. um, so just because you have it now, you don't go bullying others mm -hmm. for if they do not have it because you don't know what their situation is at home. So I definitely think it's the parents job to make sure that they're mindful you know teaching kids mindfulness and humility um, but then at the school teachers have to reinforce that as well by having fair acts you know at the school okay if this person has a Stanley Cup and you are you do see bullying and we don't see that things are inclusive to say hey this one has a Stanley Cup but this one may have a regular cup that is okay as well mm -hmm. then it won't be reinforced you know um, so I definitely think it's both the parents and the teachers it starts at home but it has to be reinforced at the school and I think what I'm taking from you too is that so often we're talking about the kid that doesn't have and how we help exactly. them but this really goes back to parents of the kids that do have exactly. like ha we're just not giving the stuff to our kids but we're having the conversation exactly about what it looks like and the gratefulness as you said which exactly. is so huge. Um, let's also talk about, again, you mentioned um, parents and teachers trying to minimize those effects. Right. You know, how do you help your child not feel left out? Like you mm -hmm. can't afford the cup. What do you right. say to them? What's that conversation mm -hmm. look like? Mm -hmm. Well, one, I would also say, hey, there's, again, on the opposite end, there's yeah. going to be kids that have more than you. And just, I guess, being honest with them, not saying to put them in adult business mm -hmm. and <laughs> explain all your finances, mm -hmm. but to give them a realistic way to say, hey, you are going to be different here. There may be bullying, but I I want you to have that, again, that security mm. to be worthy just because you don't have a certain item. You know, it doesn't matter. It's about your personality traits. Mm. It's about your character. Mm -hmm. um, and so j basically just uh, giving them some, some worthiness, you know, and to just instill that in them, that wisdom, that knowledge, that kindness, that compassion. Give them the things that people can't take away from them. Yeah. So when they do get those items, when they get older, they will still have humility. Yeah, knowing our value and our worth outside of the things of this world, right? Mm -hmm. Let's talk a little bit too for our parents and adults, yes. like just in general, for, you okay. know, I Outside of the kid conversation, right? We do this too. Okay. Kristen was just saying in the commercial break. As yes. adults, we fall into this oh trap, right? Gosh. We all want to have. We see, and social media makes it worse. What's your message, you know, kind of to everybody with <sighs> kind of not falling prey to it? I guess. Well, right? one, you have to be mindful. Again, it, we have social media, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, where we have this luxury talk or luxury IG reels, um, and. It's just, again, to be mindful and to be have that humility to say, hey, 
this is just an item. If I have it, it's because I like it, not necessarily because it's expensive, you know, and people um, add their worth to what they have. Yeah. And so, again, just having that humility to say, hey, everybody's not going to have that. Does that matter? You know? Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. It matters your character. So same, same with kids. That's why we teach them young so when they grow up, they won't be those adults who, oh, hey, I have this purse, I have this Louis Vuitton, right. I have this, you know. So yeah. Mm -hmm. It's such an important conversation. It is. Adina it is. Godet, thank you so much. I